What's up, guys? I owe you guys an apology because I had to redo this video because apparently I put up this video and it had no audio in it. So I'm really explaining all this stuff, saying all these things, and it had no audio in the video. Somebody contacted me and was just like, Do you know the video you put up has no audio in it? So this is actually a redo. Last video is taken down by the time you see this one. Um, and I wanted to explain electric healing to those uh, that are curious or wondering, you know, about switching electricity, if you want to become a healer or things like that. So let, we can just get right on into it. This is your host, your boy, boy ninja, please. And, uh, yeah, I've been playing DC Universe since its launch. I played the beta, I played the alpha, I played all that stuff, you know, got the collector's edition. So, you know, and I've been electricity ever since it came out. And uh, this is my main tune, Mr. Velocity himself. Electric Healer, Electric DPS. And, uh, okay, let's get right on to it. Um... I'm going to go to my true heel here. Okay. All right. Let's go to our real powers real quick. Uh, the powers I use, this, this can pretty much use universally. You can use this. I pretty much use this as in my eight man heal, main healing. Uh, this super, this supercharge is not really needed. As far as being an electric healer goes, um, first of all, the best supercharge it has, I would say, would be group transducer. And as you can see, the supercharge cost is uh, 10,000. So that's your whole supercharge bar gone. So unless you're doing some something if, called green spamming, if you guys are not familiar, that's when you use the Eye of Gemini to reboost your to boost your supercharge or regenerate your supercharge uh, really, really fast. So you can um, keep popping it back to back. I don't currently do that. I just straight up heal. Um, and I pretty much know like tails in the game uh, from the different bosses, like when a big hit is coming. Those are little things that you can watch out for. And the left hand side of your screen where you see like where your name is, you're gonna have your list of, like if you're in an eight man raid or a four man alert, you're gonna have your list of your teammates. Watch that green bar, you know, fill it up anytime you see it low. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit low or if it's halfway, make sure you keep that green bar full. You don't have to spam out all your powers to do that. Um, in between your weapon, I mean, in between your powers, you get the weapon attacks, I choose to go with the Shuriken Storm, which is martial arts and brawling mixed uh, for the weapon mastery. Um, and that is here. Shuriken Storm Mastery. Spec into brawling, then spec into martial arts. Doing all martial arts, and including the martial arts mastery. You don't need none of these four down here. Brawling, you need all of the brawling, and then specking to just, just this one right here. And all you gotta do is tap triangle, hold triangle. Tap, hold. I'm gonna tap range, hold range. Because some of you guys might be playing on PC or something. Uh, I'm on PS5, so for me it's triangle. Tap triangle, hold triangle. Yeah, so I use that in the midst of my weapon attacks because you also want to cater to your um, your white sockets, your mods. Restorative adapter requires requires boost. Weapon attacks heal you and three other group members a small amount. This effect may only occur once every 20 seconds. But this is, you know, tossing some weapon attacks. You know, get a little free heal off of it. Anyway, back to the powers. First power, Myo Capacitor. Instantly restores health to yourself and seven most injured group members. If you are, if you or a group member 
health falls below 45%, within the next 30 seconds, some of their health will be restored. That is, that's not doing it justice. When that biocapacitor is on, that's like you're putting a blanket over your, you and your teammates. You know what I'm saying? So a big hit is about to come, pop that biocapacitor. Me, I suggest that you just have it on at, at every time it's up. So as it goes through its cool down, you know, even if you didn't take a big hit, pop it again. You know what I'm saying? Keep that thing running. So just in case a big hit comes, you know, or, you get, or one person gets hit by a big hit, then you can save their butt, you know, and not have to worry about using your other powers to, like, save their butt, you know. That at least gives you a blanket, you know, so you can, just in case you have to heal somebody else and you have to come back and you have to heal this guy, gives them a blanket, gives you time, gives you time to grow, time to move and, you know, collect your thoughts and all that good stuff. So, uh, second move, bioelectric surge. This is your priority heal. Remember those words that are in yellow. Priority heal. With the surge of bioelectricity, instantly restore health to yourself and the most injured group member. The bio surge is your main heal. You pop this boy, it's going to heal big. And you can spam it. That's a really quick cooldown. So just in case somebody's taking that massive damage back, 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 back. You can just pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, get them back up. And then use your other moves, you know, to help them out. Third move, recover. Yeah. Words in yellow, group heal. Remember that, word, the words in yellow, remember those words in yellow. Use the Jota Electricity to recover health for you and up to three group members. So, you pop this boy. This little health, this little... With some little health for you and three other people. Galvanize. This is one of my favorite moves of electricity. It's just flashy and ridiculous <laughs> as far as animations go. It's really quick. The cooldown is three seconds. You know, and this is your area effect heal. So basically, you slap this boy and everything in the area gets some heals. To show you that, there's my little drone that was flying around here. I don't know, maybe he took a, took a vacation or something. It was flying around here. Yeah. Oh, there it is. See if I call my little bat drone out here. See, it heals them. It's an area, so everything in your area is going to get hit with that heal. See, your regular bio surge don't do nothing to that drone. But an area effect is the area. So anything in the area that's, you know, within combat or with something that's in play is going get, to get that heal. Um, next move is arc lightning. Arc lightning, like I said, remember those words in yellow. Strike a target with a bolt of electricity, stunning and damaging, then the bolt will jump to more enemies, stunning and damaging them, or jump between, jump to heal and heal allies. Also heals you when used. Electrifies enemies, making them vulnerable to electric effects. So if you got a person in your group that's do, using electric, uh, electrical attacks, this will electrify the enemy so they will take extra damage. And you can just arc this through a bunch of enemies, and it will arc through the enemies, arc through your friends. You know, um, this guy's a pretty significant heal, too. You know, and it's a burst heal, so it's like almost instantaneous. Most of electricity's heals are instant, you know, because as you can see, you go down the line, it's instant, 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 instant. You know, there's not really like a lot of. Uh, uh, heals over time or hots or HOTs, whatever you want to call them. Um, but it does have one pretty good HOT, which is this final move. Electrogenesis, depending on your role, create a healing aura on yourself and your closest group member or a damaging aura on your two closest enemies. 
Healer Row heals you and nearby enemies. Damage roll damages enemies near your two targets. So, you pop this boy. Now you got the little aura around you. And some of these descriptions does not do some of these moves you know, justice. This aura, if you pop this and on you and somebody else, it doesn't matter if this person is standing right here or if another person is standing way over here. This thing will heal a big aura of effect, uh, area of effect. Like, it's pretty significant. If I pop this, like, everybody that's standing on this platform could get healed. Like, while we're fighting the boss. I can pop it over here. I can pop it over there. You know, it's just constant heals that are going. And it's very, very helpful because those constant heals or those HOTs that are going on, Let's say you pop that, and that was the last move you had able to pop, and your blue bar up there is empty. That's your last, you know what I'm saying, like your, your bar is empty. You got nothing left. You got nothing left. Pop that. That's healing while you're trying to get your, get your stuff back. Attacking things, attacking things, trying to get your blue bar back clear. Oh, that's healing. You know, so it's very, 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 very helpful. And so far, this is what I've been using for my true heals. Now, you've got other options. Like I said, I think this is the probably the best healing supercharge there is as far as electricity is concerned. Um, and Bigger Raid does do like a big, big heal and it applies biocapacitor while it's healing. But it does not give you a shield. That's why I says go with the shield every time. Now, I used to use a shield within this loadout. And that's right here. That's Flux. Puts a bubble around you and three other people. Now, with this going on, uh, I would suggest, like, if you want to use a shield in combat, I would replace either Electrogenesis or Arc Lightning as far as their shield. These other four moves are a must in healing. Definitely. And if you want to mess around with these two, by all means, mess around with those two. Because other moves, like Electro Burst, you stomp the ground, blast out a wave of electricity to heal and up to you and up to seven nearby group members, and damage and knock down enemies. Sometimes you can use this instead of galvanize. But like I said, that's an area effect heal. And this wave of electricity will heal you and seven other group members, but you don't know if it's gonna heal like the pets in the area in the in the, in the immediate area. Galvanize, you can slap that in twice within one turn of electro burst. But like I said, you can play around with these things and see what how you feel about using them. Another move you can use is Overcharge. Overload your target with Electric Discharge, damaging additional attacks with charge once they explode, causing additional damage to themselves and nearby enemies. But in Healer Role, it heals allies nearby exploding enemies. So all these enemies are popping off and blowing up and everything like that. But now you got heals flying everywhere. You know, then there's Ionic Drain. This also is a finisher on your DPS side. So when your target is below 35%, the attack deals extra damage. But it drains ions from your target or the environment. You can just shoot this randomly in the air or all around you. While that thing is going off, it's healing you and everybody that's around you. And I think the last hit of the ion drain it does a big heal at the end of it. And as far as heal moves, those are your heal moves. You know what I'm saying? So you got one, two, a shield, so I would count that three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you got 12 moves to mess around with as far as your, you know, six move loadout. I would say experiment, see what you like, see what you don't. I always, always, always push the idea of experimentation because now everybody has to play the same way. Like, you know, that that's a loadout. This is the loadout that I, I use. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, it's called True Heal. I named it True Heal. Now, those yellow words I say, remember, priority heal, group heal, those yellow words, you gotta remember that. Those, you know, on the DPS side, those are power interactions, they're PIs. You know, causes your targets to have, take some extra damage from another type of, you know what I'm saying, a, a certain type of superpower. Now, on the, on the heal side, or your role side, I should say, your healer role, those give you extra other specific benefits when it comes down to the artifacts. The artifacts I run for my true heal is Page of Destiny, the Strategist card, and the Purple Healing Ray. These three, these three, and there's a reason. Page of Destiny, they say when a group heal hits a player above 40% health, it places a stack of Revify on them, max 10 stacks for 30 seconds and refreshes total duration of existing stacks. If an affected player drops below 40% health, Revify will be triggered. All expending stacks and healing for an amount based on Revify stacks. Increase healing from group heal by 20% with targets below 40%. Increase healing done by Revify. Group heal heals up to two additional targets. So now your group heal at first was doing four people, you and three others. Now it does you and five others. So you got six people getting the extra health with those stacks so you just put stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks on them and then when they get knocked below 40 percent boom kicks in saves your life it's just like having another bio capacitor running the strategic cards gives us tactical advantage you know what i'm saying and it increases your crits electricity is big on crits crit damage crit heals crit 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 heal critical apply a heal over time Power heal critical, damage critical. You know, as you can see right there, where it says tactical advantage, and then you level it up, and you see at the bottom it says increase the potency, D double the proc chance. So it's just big crits heals, you know, over time. It really, I mean, it's really really helpful, and it gives you the heals over time. And on top of that, remember I said electricity doesn't have that many heals over time. It gives you big heals over time. Now, Purple Healing Ray, as you can see, I'm still working on it. Um, leveling it up and everything like that. I can add to it. There you go. Um, this Purple Healing Ray, you can, you know what I'm saying, you can use some of the be some of the better benefits while it's at one, I want to say 160, one, let's see, let's see, that's, uh, I want to say the first one is at 120, 40, 60. I want to say at 160. Get it up to 160, you're able to use some of the really, really good advantages of it. Like purple light. Healing charges your purple healing ray up to, as you can see, five times your total restoration with purple light. Once charged, your next priority heal, yellow words, or group heal, gain new benefits and expends all the purple light that's that stacked. You know what I'm saying? You got Epones or Epones. I don't know how to pronounce that. Epon Eponis? Probably Eponis. Grace. Priority heal. So basically, Purple Healing Ray trips off, right? Like you get you building it up. You and your heal target gain a shield equal to two times your restoration, which absorbs at, at my current level 20% of incoming damage for eight seconds. It resets the cooldown of priority heal and group heal and restores 20% power. All of that happens. 
and then you got Carissa's revitalization. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So your purple is stacked up and you pop your priority here. That's that. That's bio surge. You have that purple stack on you. Pop that. You and whoever is the lowest gets a shield. It's a purple shield around yourself. And then you get all the other benefits right on top of that. It, absorbs, it puts the shield on you that absorbs percentage of incoming damage. And it resets the cooldown of your priority heal and your group heal. And restores 20% per power. That's pretty dope. And then you got Carissa's Revitalization. If you pop your group heal while your purple healing ray is up, it places a heal over time of you and your allies for 8 seconds. Increases heal over time value by 25%. It resets the cooldown of your priority heal and group heal and restores 20% power. So that's popped up and you pop it and you'll see this purple light go over all you and your your homies. And then your group heal will instantly recharge. So you can pop it right back to back. So just in case you didn't really fill, fill them all the way up, you can pop it right behind that and fill them up again. Now you got to keep in mind when you're using that, you're using your group heal. So that means you're also stacking it on top of your revify. Keep in mind that all your artifacts stack. There is no artifact that negates another artifact. All your artifacts stack, as far, especially when it comes to healing. I, I don't know 100% when it comes to damage. I have not used every artifact in the game. Let me, let me clarify that, you know what I'm saying, before somebody jumps down my throat. <laughs> All these heal artifacts, they stack. Now, ideally, you can take out Strategist if you go with another type of healing power. I like Strategist because of the crits. And you can use your Transformation card with your Dark Bargain. Gain 20% critical chance and 30% critical magnitude on attacks and heals. Reduce total damage and healing down by 50%. I don't like any artifact that takes away anything. Like, this one takes away something. You know, now ideally, I also got allies. Right here. They, at the bottom, they, they, they that blank space to the left, you see it missing, there's a big, where it says owned allies. It's a big space that's missing. So you got to keep in mind that you need that space. I mean, not, you don't need that space. That space is supposed to be where you, all your own allies are, but it's, it's some type of glitch in the game. As far as like all your equipped allies, you got both of you. You got Shazam. You got Static. And you got Batman Who Laughs. As you can see, Shazam fires lightning bolts that change between targets. Healing up to four allies for at this current level, 52% of their maximum health damage and up to four enemies, 269% damage. And power interaction electrifies enemies, making them vulnerable to electric effects. Since that is the case, this activates. Electrifying or polarizing, polarizing an enemy increases critical heal chance. 11% and magnitude of 15% but reduces total healing done by 18% for 20 seconds. While those two things are going on, you got look at a draw. Draw a random card during combat to gain a buff for 15 seconds. You got cooldown 30 seconds. You got Batman 30%, I mean 3% might and dominance, restoration and vitalization and 1.5% precision. Enigma 31 bucks, I mean 31 power regeneration, trigger. 4.5 critical critical chance, and you got Gaia, which is 8% health. All of those correlate into you being able to heal really, 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 really effectively. So there you have it. As far as uh, your gear is concerned, and your weapon, you want to put restoration. Restorative adaptive. So those are let's if you go inside your base. Make 
make sure your mainframe is up to par because you want all of these active you want all of these active and they take they take source marks where it said where it says 101 at the top it takes source marks to make sure you got all of these active they help you out a great deal so if you go down here to your to this machine and get a zoom in close on that one so you got your allies in there your orbital strikes your supply drops go in here you go way at the bottom way way at the bottom there you have your tech mods you can carry a bunch of these You know, you can carry a lot of them. Just keep them on your person. See? Keep them on your person. And these are, they go into these white sockets that's in your gear. So you got the head socket, got your neck socket, back socket. So for me, I use restorative adapter that creates heels as I'm attacking. For my head, I got my supercharged circuit breaker, but I use that sometimes for my battle heel. I really don't need anything particular in particular in that socket for my true heel. So I use it for battle heel and I use circuit breaker in my battle heel loadout. So you don't have to worry about that. This is all about healing right now. In my next socket, I use focus restoration. It increases your restoration by 5% until you're hit by an attack. This effect is reapplied every 10 seconds. In my back, this is the OP back or the omnipotent back. Um, I mainly use this on my DPS side, but the stats are really, really great. So I also use it on my Halo side. That's why you see in the back socket, there's a celebrated Tesla ball for my damaging side. Chest, chest socket, this gives some additional damage. I put in uh, core strength. And this is also another OP piece. So I also mainly use that for damage, but the stats are too good. So use it on your heel side. My leg socket, you got restorative overcharge. There's not too many great leg sockets for electricity, so I just put that in there just to, just in case I wanted to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna experiment a little bit. Uh, nothing for the rings. In the feet, tumbling master, um, your dodge roll is no longer vulnerable to interrupt, so nobody can't knock you out of your dodge roll. You also may tap the movement controls to cancel out of your dodge roll into a combo so it's whoop, whoop. there you go and then nothing for the waist uh it should have had a waist socket in my opinion but they don't have one um in my hands max damage yeah, you know what I'm saying? Using a superpower increases damage by 2% for a short time. So while you're doing all your moves and everything like that, healing people, that superpower that you're using it will increase your damage. So you can just keep spamming that weapon. Nothing for the uh, shoulders and nothing for the face mask. Um, as far as all your utilities down here, it's completely up to you what you want to use down here. Um, your trinket increases your resto. By 19,729. So, it might be nice to have supply drop this case you're too low on power. And then you got your henchman to do a little extra damage to help you out. I mean, you can pretty much put whatever there you want. It's absolutely up to you. And that's pretty much it. That is. That is all there is. Ladies and gents, or gents, or just ladies, or just whoever. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit up your boy. And uh, like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit that notification bell for other videos. Yes, sir. Show them boy, please. And we are out of here.